Welcome to the spoken tutorial on quiz in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a quiz in Moodle and use the questions from the question bank in the quiz. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.6.30. Moodle 3.3 and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. This tutorial assumes that your site administrator has registered you as a teacher and assigned at least one course to you. It also assumes that you have added some questions to the question bank for your course. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Switch to the browser and log in to your Moodle site. Click on the calculus course in the left navigation menu. Click on the gear icon at the top right and then on turn editing on. Click on Add an Activity or Resource link at the bottom right of the Basic Calculus section. Scroll down and select Quiz in the Activity Chooser. Click on the Add button at the bottom of the Activity Chooser. In the Name field, I will type Quiz 1 Evolutes and Involutes. Then in the Description field, I will type the text as shown. Check the display description on course page checkbox. After this, we'll expand the timing section and enable the checkboxes for open the quiz, close the quiz and time limit. This will open and close the quiz on the given dates and for a specific time duration. Set the dates and time as per your requirements. I have set them as displayed here. Then I will set time limit as 10 minutes. The when time expires field has three options. Choose the one which is appropriate for your quiz. I will choose open attempts are submitted automatically. So even if the student fails to submit, the quiz will be automatically submitted after 10 minutes. Now, let's expand the grade section. In the grade to pass field, I will type 2 as the passing grade. This means the student will need a minimum of 2 marks to pass this quiz. In the attempts allowed field, I will select 1. If we choose a higher number, the student will be able to attempt the same quiz that many times. Notice that grading method drop down is disabled. This is enabled only when more than one attempts are allowed. The teacher can then select which attempt to grade. Now expand the layout section. Here there are options to specify the layout of the quiz. By default, in the New Page Field drop-down, every question option is selected. Click on the New Page Field drop-down to see all the options. I will select Every Two Questions option. You can select any option as per your choice. Next, we will expand the Question Behavior section. Choose Yes for Shuffle Within Questions drop-down. On doing so, all the options within each question will be shuffled. So each student will see a different arrangement of questions and options in their quiz. Click on the help icon for how questions behave drop down and read the details. I will let deferred feedback be the option here. So my students will see the feedback only after their attempt is submitted. Next, click on the Overall Feedback section to expand it. 
Overall feedback is the text shown to the student after the quiz is submitted and auto-graded. Teachers can give different feedback depending on the grade obtained by the student. I will type excellent performance as the feedback for grade boundary 100%. Students who score between 50 and 100% will see the excellent performance message. And you need to work harder as the feedback for grade boundary 50%. Students who scored between 0 and 49.99% will see you need to work harder. Now scroll down and click on Activity Completion section. Click on the drop down for Completion Tracking field. Select the option Show Activity as Complete when conditions are met. Check the checkboxes for Require Grade and Require passing grade. Lastly, click on Save and Display button at the bottom of the page. We are brought to a new page with the quiz title that we gave. Read and verify that all the details given earlier are displayed here. Here you can see a message displayed prominently. No questions have been added yet. To add questions to the quiz, Click on the Edit Quiz button. On the top right, type the maximum grade as 4. The pencil icon on the left of the quiz section allows us to edit the heading of this quiz. It is useful when the quiz has multiple sections. I will write section 1 and press Enter. Then check the Shuffle checkbox on the right. This ensures that the questions are shuffled every time the quiz is attempted. Click on the Add link below Shuffle checkbox. There are three options here. A new question, from question bank, a random question. As the name suggests, a new question link enables us to add a new question. So I will not select this option. Click on From Question Bank link. A pop-up window opens. This option is used when you want a fixed set of questions for every student. The category selected will be the default category for that course. The option also show questions from subcategories is selected by default. Also show old questions shows the questions that have been used in previous quizzes. You can select the questions you want to add as I am doing now. And then click on add selected questions to the quiz button at the bottom. However, I will not do that. I will close this window by clicking on the X icon at the top right. Click on the Add link below Shuffle once again. Click on a random question link. Another pop-up window opens. With this option, each student will see a different set of questions. And it will be difficult for them to discuss the answers while attempting the quiz. Under random question from an existing category, I will select the category as Evolutes. In number of random questions, I will select 2. Then click on Add random question button below this drop down. Two random questions have been added to this quiz from Evolutes category. Once again, click on Add link at the bottom right. Click on a random question link, select the category as involutes and number of random questions as 2. Then click on add random question button. Two more questions have been added to this quiz, both from involutes. Notice that the quiz is automatically divided into two pages. 
This is because we had given this option earlier in the quiz settings. Click on the add link below the second question at the extreme right. Click on a new section heading link. Click on the pencil icon to edit the name of the heading. I will type section 2 and press enter. Click on save button at the top right to save the quiz. There are two icons to the right of every quiz question. Preview question and delete. These are self-explanatory. Delete question will delete this question from the quiz, but the question will still exist in the question bank. Click on name of the quiz in the breadcrumbs. Click on preview quiz button in the gear menu at the right. This opens up a confirmation window. This informs the students that the quiz is timed and they have the option to either start or cancel. I will click on Start Attempt button. On the right of the screen is the quiz navigation block. It shows the questions section-wise along with the timer. There is an option to edit the question directly from this field as well. Let me click on Finish Attempt link in the navigation block. The status of every question is shown next to the question name. Click on Submit All and Finish button at the bottom of the page. Click on Submit All and Finish button again in the confirmation pop-up. Notice that the grade, overall feedback and question specific feedback are all shown here. Scroll down and click on Finish Review link. We are back to the quiz summary page. Click on the gear icon at the top right of the page. Click on Edit Quiz link. You can add or remove questions from the quiz. However, this can be done only before the quiz is attempted by any student. Even if one student has attempted the quiz, the quiz is locked. Questions can however be edited or added as required. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to create a quiz in Moodle, use the questions from the question bank in the quiz. Here is a small assignment for you. Add a new quiz for Evolutes. Refer to the assignment link of this tutorial for details. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Nancy and Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verki along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.